we know that Kubernetes secrets are hard because the secrets that you store in Kubernetes are not that much secure. I stated that in my previous video as well on external secrets operator, uh, that how you can use the external secrets operator to manage the secrets. In this video, we are going to explore another tool um, that can help you manage the secrets, basically some of the best in class secret providers and how you can use them to mount the secrets as volumes inside the pods and use them via the secret store CSI driver. So the tool that we will be going to discuss today will be secret store CSI driver. Welcome to Cube Simplify. My name is Sam Patak and let's get started. So as the name suggests, the secret store CSI driver has to do something with the CSI. CSI, what is CSI? CSI is actually container storage interface. That is an interface uh, that can help you manage the Kubernetes volumes. Uh, previously, most of the volumes were part of the Kubernetes code itself, but now everything is managed by the CSI and everyone has their own implementation. For example, most of the cloud providers will have their own CSI interface that can be used for their set of volumes. And this, in this particular case, uh, the secret store CSI driver, this allows the Kubernetes to mount multiple, you know, secrets, keys, certs uh, that are stored inside different providers uh, like Azure, AWS, Vault, and then you can mount them into the pod. And once the volume is attached, then you'll be able to use that. So there are four supported providers, as you can see here, Google, AWS, Azure, and Vault. Uh, so those are referred to as secret stores. Now how it works is uh, there is a secret store CSI driver, which is there as a daemon set on all the nodes. What a daemon set means that it will be present on all the nodes. So secret store CSI driver is there on all the nodes. Inside that, there are a few containers, which are the node driver registrar. Uh, that is responsible for registering the CSI with the kubelet of the node. Then is the secret store. Uh, you know, when whenever there is a pod startup stop, the secret store will be talking to the secret store and fetching the secrets that is required and, you know, helping them mounting to the uh, pod. Then you have the liveness probe that checks the health of the CSI driver. There are some additional functionalities that can be used like sync with Kubernetes secrets. So sometimes you would need Kubernetes secrets as well uh, for some sort of applications. Uh, but this is tricky how this works here because this is first an alpha feature uh, that you have to enable. And I, I, I can show that in the docs or I can provide that where you'll be giving the secret name in the secret provider class. But in this also the volume mount is required for the sync with Kubernetes secrets. Um, so that is something which uh, has to be taken care of. And there is another feature which is in alpha, which is called the enable auto rotation, which will be polling the secret store after every interval that you have specified when you install the secret store CSI trigger. Very big name. <laughs> so we are going, now we are going to do the end to end demo uh, so that, you know, you can see. And, and I think the architecture is pretty clear uh, that you have um, secret store provider, you have secret stores here. And then it is as a daemon set and how it is pulling it. So let's get started and do the complete end-to-end -end demo uh, for the secret store CSI drive and see how it works. So this is the repository and I have given step-by-step -step details as well how to do it. So I already have a Kubernetes cluster. It doesn't have anything yet. Apart from the regular defaults which are there. It is already having its own CSI uh, for the volumes with respect to the specific cloud provider and some of the other pods which are required to run the cluster. Now, first step that we'll be doing is we'll be installing Vault. So I already have added um, everything. So we'll just install Vault. So Helm install Vault and given some of the flags, CSI enabled true. And the vault is deployed. We can check kubectl get pods. Now we need to wait until it's ready. And the pod is ready. Now let's exec into the pod. Next set of steps you can actually either do by going to the vault UI or 
by going into the pod like we are doing at the moment. So first is enabling the KV store. So KV store in that we'll be creating a secrets. So you can see that we are putting secret my pass with key and value. Get it. Now we need to enable the Kubernetes authentication. If you go to the UI as well, you'll be able to see the auth methods and you can enable the authentication. So we have enabled. We have to specify the Kubernetes path. So this is the kubectl config view, uh, the API server IP address that, that is there. Next, we need to create the policy. So the policy means that we are creating a policy for the application to only read the secret. That's it. So the read only policy has been uploaded. Now, what we are going to do is, in order for Kubernetes to authenticate with Vault via the service account, we need to enable and bind that particular policy to the Kubernetes service account. So what we are doing is vault write auth Kubernetes role my secret. We are creating this particular role, bounding that to a service account that we would be creating later on, bounding that to a service account namespace and the policies that we created above. Next is creation of the service account. So we can exit this pod, create the service account. And now we'll be installing the CSI store. So installing the CSI store, it will be installing CSI secret store in the cube system namespace. So the Helm chart is deployed now. Let's do kubectl get pod siphon A. And we can see that the secret store daemon set is up and running. Let's clear the screen. And you can see uh, some of the customization install that you can do like for enabling secret rotation, you need to enable secret rotation and you need to do sync secret dot enabled for the syncing as a Kubernetes secret. So those are the two things that I mentioned earlier as well. Now we have a few files. Let's go through them. First is the secret provider class. So secret provider class is the CRD that gets installed. This we'll be able to connect to the provider. So in this particular case, we are choosing the provider as vault. We are giving the vault address. We are giving the role name that we created and we are giving the objects like object my password and the secret path that will be there in the data my pass uh, that we created. I can show you that as well. You can see my pass is what we created and password is the key. So that is what it is defined here. The key is password. So let's apply this kubectl apply hyphen f secret provider class. We can actually describe that. And you can see it has described the specs parameters that we have defined. Next up, we have the pod. How do we actually use that in the inside a pod? So it's a simple pod. The thing that has to be noted here is the volume section because that's how it is getting mounted. So we are choosing volume. In the volume, we are specifying CSI. In the driver, we are giving secret store csi.kh.io as read only as true. And in the secret provider class, we are giving vault connect that we just created. So it will try to connect, use that secret provider class that we have specified over here and then fetching the secret from the C CSI, secret store CSI driver which will be on the node and then it will be injecting that inside the uh, mount path of slash mnt slash secret store. So kubectl apply hyphen f pod pod is created. So let's check uh, kubectl get pods the pod is running now and we can check the secrets by executing into it. kubectl exec id csi secret store demo 
and we can actually cat save my password and we can see Kubernetes has appeared over here magically from the vault using the CSI secret store mounted as a volume and the CSI driver installed on the nodes doing the magic. So everything should work as expected and again it might not be the best case for all the scenarios where you only need Kubernetes secrets uh, and it cannot be done using the mounted volumes inside the pod. Uh, but if it can be, then I think this would be the best choice for your secrets because it is using the power of CSI and connecting to the very well established production ready key value stores out there that you can use. This is the documentation on, you know, how you can use some of the stuffs um, and also the metrics provided by the CSI driver, like how many kind of metrics that you can retrieve from um, the CSI driver as well. You can actually see uh, the metrics. So this is how you can port forward it and you'll be able to see all the metrics which are defined in the documentation. Apart from this, I think it's pretty simple to use and you can see the providers that are there. There are four providers that are supported at the moment. Uh, and out of this, these are some of the features which will be yes and no. In, and also in, in Windows, uh, Azure is fully featured and uh, uh, rest none of them, but in Azure you can use for Windows as well. So I think the secret store CSI driver does provide a lot of benefits. And in this particular video, we have seen how you can actually use that from scratch, um, setting up the vault, putting the secrets over there, enabling the Kubernetes authentication, and then using the CSI to authenticate with that. And then how you can actually create a pod um, and a secret store driver, which is there and point that to vault and how you can mount inside the pod. So overall, in my opinion, um, go check out the repository and you can try out the demo on your own. And uh, let me know if you find any issues with doing this particular demo or you're connecting any other agent. I think there's a, a very good blog I'll put in the link as well with respect to Azure and AWS as well. Uh, I, I'm not sure if the docs are pretty cool in providing the examples, like, you know, how to connect Vault and all that stuff. Uh, but I think this gives you an end-to-end -end explanation how you can use the CSI uh, secret store driver. Uh, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, then do your usual stuff by liking the video, commenting on it, and sharing in your network. And let me know what do you use for your secrets. Um, external secrets operator, CSI secret store, um, or Bitnami sealed secrets. I actually will be covering uh, those in the later set of videos uh, so that we can cover the whole secret spectrum over here. Uh, thank you so much for watching this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to follow Cube Simplify and on all the platforms and see you in the next video.